Hello, fourth grade, and welcome back to your grade level project. And last week I saw you, we started this paper project, and today we're gonna move on to part two. So a lot of you got about this far, and I know if you're home, uh, a lot of you were able to bend the paper, so that was fantastic, and I'm gonna move you down here just to review. So we bent the paper four times, and where we left off was you had to find that diagonal line that was on the bottom of each piece. And what you want to do, I'll start over here, is you want to bend that line so it goes up. Okay, and that collapses that one piece into the other two. And when you go around to all four, okay, it creates a flat square. But what's so cool about this is it opens up and what we're gonna do is we are gonna create a haunted house. And each one of the squares is gonna be a different room. Okay, so here's my piece of cardboard. I made sure it was plenty big. That way when I put this on, I have lots of room. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna trim this a little bit because I don't want all these end pieces flapping around. Okay. So if you're in school with me, I'm obviously gonna give you the cardboard, but again, if you're at home, just trim your piece off. Okay, okay so boys and girls, what I did was I cut a piece of cardboard that's gonna be double the size. So double the size is open up your book and lay it down. And you wanna have enough room on the right and the left. And I just opened up my new glue you see that? Where are you? And it's squirted all over, so I'm just gonna use it off of my work surface here and put a little glue on the outside of the front. And I do like to kind of use my finger in this, so just... I would definitely use wet glue if you have it, okay? A glue stick may not be strong enough. Now. I do not want to put it on the cardboard side. I want to put it on the other side, which is the original packaging. So I'm going to lay this down as close to the edge as I can get it and leave a little room because I can trim it later. Just flip the book and glue it to the other side and get your fingers in where the glue is and just press it down, okay? And then simply just go ahead and trim your book. So have a big enough piece of cardboard that you can trim once you glue it. Okay, don't try to do it the other way around and <clears throat> measure before you glue it, because if your paper is not perfectly even. All right, so now what I need to do is close the cardboard and create the spine of the book. And now, let me move you up. Okay, I got a little bit of glue there. I can just wipe that off. But now I have a nice cover onto the book. Now, we want to make sure that the spine of the book can go backwards as well. So you want to make sure that you crease that. But what that cardboard is going to do, once you bend it both directions, is it's going to help the book stay open. Okay? And then just check that your floor of your haunted house can collapse, which it does. Now I'm ready for the next step, which is picking out the first room today. So let's see. So I think I'll start on the cover. Let's see, if I open up my book, it'll be the room on the left, but you can start anywhere you want. And for this, I'm gonna grab some markers and I keep a box of all kinds of markers and pens in my work area. 
and I think I'll start with, you know what, I'll use a black, but if I were you, I would definitely maybe use a, a, a pencil to start, but I'm going to use a marker, that way you can see it in the camera, okay? Okay, I left it so it almost looks like or reminds me of a coloring page, okay, out of a coloring book. And now if you want to add uh, things to it, like I said the rug I was going to add, you can take, let me grab a piece of paper, just make sure your paper is thin. And when you stick it down, make sure you stick it so the fold in your rug lands on the fold because you want the rug to be able to bend up as well. Do you see that? Okay, so boys and girls, today we made the cover of the book and we made the first room. So what you can do is throughout the week, if you would like to start planning out the next three rooms, go ahead and do that. You can put a creepy kitchen, you can put a haunted um, library, maybe, maybe a dining room. You can try to draw a couch on the wall. So start thinking about what you want to put in each room. All right. And next week, I will show you the next part. What I want you to do is please leave it black and white. Don't color it in. OK, so if you draw with a pencil, that's great. And then you can outline it with a Sharpie or a black pen. But don't add color, because I want to show you how we're going to add the color, okay? So, get started on this, and I will see you next week for part three. Have a great day, boys and girls. See you soon.